today I'm reviewing the Seal 3D Scanner from 3D Maker Pro. I've been vocal in the past about my disappointment with the state of the consumer 3D scanning industry, but I kept seeing ads for the Seal on social media, and so I wanted to give it a try. Full disclosure, 3D Maker Pro sent me the Seal 3D Scanner free of charge, but this is not a paid review, and these are my own thoughts with as little bias as possible. As soon as I opened the box, I noticed something strange. The seal has the exact same handle tripod thing as the Creality CR Scan Lizard. It also has an identical turntable. And when I downloaded the Jam Studio software for the seal, I found that it was the same as Creality CR Studio software. Clearly, there's a lot of sharing going on between these companies. That said, this isn't just a rebranded copy of the same device. The most obvious evidence of that is the emitted light. The seal emits flashing blue light and the CR scan lizard does not, so there's some difference in the hardware. 3D Maker Pro says the seal has 0.01 millimeter accuracy with 0.05 millimeter resolution and 24 bit color, but those specs don't really tell the full story, so I just jumped right into testing. The first thing you should know about the seal 3D scanner and all scanners of this type is that the results are extremely dependent on the physical qualities of the object you're scanning. Object color, reflectivity, transparency, size, texture, and features all make a dramatic difference in the results that you get. The ideal object is something about the size of a closed fist with a medium color and matte finish that is mostly convex but still has distinct features to aid in tracking and alignment of multiple scans. That hypothetical object would scan perfectly. The problem is that few objects in the real world fit those criteria. Black objects, for example, would be invisible to the scanner, as would highly reflective objects. If the object is too big, you'll have to attempt to perform hand scanning. If it's concave, has fine features or deep holes, the scanner won't be able to pick up that geometry. If it has thin walls, the scanner will struggle to make sense of them. These are issues that all consumer 3D scanners have, and there are some ways you can deal with them. For example, you can use special sprays or even dry shampoo to deal with color, uh, transparency, and reflectivity issues. But the Seal 3D scanner does work relatively well. It's better than the CR Scan Lizard, especially when it comes to hand scanning as opposed to table scanning. It can pick up fine detail and the texture scanning works well. The software is decent, even though it's exactly the same software as other 3D scanners on the market. Success often comes down to performing multiple scans cleaning up those scans and alignment, though in my testing, automatic alignment almost never worked. So expect to spend a lot of time aligning every scan in the software. Speaking of time, I want to emphasize that using the Seal 3D scanner isn't a quick and easy process. Most of my successful scans took more than an hour from start to finish. That included the actual scanning time to capture multiple angles, the time it took to clean up each of the scans to remove noise, and the time it took for the software to process everything and churn out a result. From a design standpoint, I really like the Seal 3D scanner. It's attractive and has a nice metal enclosure that feels like it was well-made. The cable is a little annoying because it requires that you have a power outlet and USB port on your computer right next to each other. I also wish it was longer for hand scanning because you sometimes need to reach pretty far. But those are minor gripes. Overall, I think the Seal 3D scanner is decent if you go into it with the right expectations. However, I get the impression that most hobbyists without experience with 3D scanning buy these without going into it with the right expectations. You can't go in thinking you'll be able to scan anything you want in just a few minutes. Some objects will require a lot of time, preparation, and manual processing. Other objects will simply be impossible to scan. And that leads me to the final point I want to make, which is how you plan to use your scans. If you intend to 3D print them directly or use them in mesh modeling software, then they should work well after just a little bit of cleanup but I come from an engineering background and tend to use my tech for that purpose. For example, I might want to scan an object to bring into CAD for a design I'm working on, but that's tricky because you're just getting a mesh model and that has limited use in CAD. It will work as a reference or if you're just making minor modifications, but it's not the same as a parametric model that you created from the beginning in CAD. So should you buy a Seal 3D scanner? If you understand the limitations and still think it would work for you, then I think you should consider it. There are quite a few 3D scanners on the market around this price point, and I wouldn't say the Seal stands out all that much, but it is capable of very good results 
under the right conditions. Hopefully that helped you make a decision. Uh, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see a video where I go into depth on how to get the best results from a SEAL 3D scanner or any of the consumer 3D scanners on the market. Thanks for watching.